I am reacting to Arak's new video called um, I survived on I survived NASA's Mars simulation. So uh I don't have anything else to say so I'm just going to play it. Bro, it's right behind us. Oh my god. Run, 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 run. Run, please. <laughs> In the next 10 years, humans will most likely be living on Mars, which so far looks. Okay, I'm sorry to pause, but like, the way he does, uh, does such a dramatic intro and then just stops to say something is actually funny. Really not fun. Wow! So, for the next 50 hours, I'm gonna be surviving in a real-life Mars simulation. Now, NASA was nice enough to let us use their actual Mars simulation, which simulates what Mars would be like after 100 years of having humans on it building. And while we're simulating 100 years, my friends are gonna be simulating day one of humans on Mars. Peculiar situation we're in. I get the worst situation every time. While Eric and Beans are living the lavish life of what Mars would be like. Hold on, did you say Beans? The worst situation every time. While Eric and Beans are living the lavish life of what Mars would be like in about a hundred years, you and I are representing what it would be like when mankind first landed here. So, there is nothing here yet. It's just us in this box. This box allegedly contains everything we need to survive on Mars for the next 50 hours. I hope to God that there's shelter in there. And water. It's so hot. And women. Wait, you. Hey, what do you say? You're in a relationship. All right, let's open this box. All right. Ah. Nice. I was holding my breath that whole time. What? Within this simulation, NASA has detailed five specific missions to give us the most realistic take on what life on Mars would actually look like. And even though some are a lot of fun, life is a some of them show the dark sides of living on Mars. This might take all night, man. I'm scared to say. Are you a robot? Seeing that our time has already started, we're gonna start mission one, which is explore the base. I hear you loud and clear. What are you looking at right there? Is that the alien lady from Monsters Inc? It sure is. This is an outdoor oasis dome. Tyler, this is one small shelter for man, one giant leap for mankind. Now you probably noticed the oxygen meter on the side of the screen here. Basically, since the boys are simulating. Now you probably noticed the oxygen. Man, one giant leap for mankind. Now you probably noticed the oxygen meter on the side of the screen. Leap for mankind. Now you probably noticed the oxygen meter on the side of the screen here. Basically, since the boys are simulating the first day on Mars, they won't have unlimited oxygen like we do hundreds of years in the future. So their simulation will completely rely on them finishing objectives to refill their oxygen. Or else they die in a simulation. Of course, not real life. <laughs> so this base is actually huge and it's made for a simulation. Of course, not real life. <laughs> Trust me, I'm a YouTuber. Nice. So this base is actually huge and it's made from the dirt around us. As you can see, at 100 years on Mars, we would have had all kinds of time to bring furniture. There's even bedrooms. Why is mine a dog bed? You're like dog sized. I mean, there's, there's big dogs too. Next, we have our kitchen with the Mars refrigerator, Mars oven, Mars coffee maker. And Mars anxiety. What? And last, but certainly not least, the rover. This baby goes 50 miles an hour and I'm gonna flip it before this video is over. This is just a movie prop. Yeah, they actually said the last guy to sit in this was Brad Pitt. So there's not a lot of difference between, you know, me and him. Except for like the money, right. the <laughs> success, mm -hmm. or the happiness and wife. Okay, I get it. Mac, we just made it to step two. This took a whole hour for step one and there's 30 steps. You know what that means, Mac? We're not gonna finish this base before we run out of oxygen. <sighs> What are you doing? It's so hot. I know it is. What do you say we just lay down and die? Whoa. Interstellar exercise? That's right, babe. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Honestly, being in the middle of nowhere in this spacesuit feels like I could be on a different planet. This simulation is easy peasy. I'm gonna pass out. I'm so tired. Ugh. Get this shit. Mac, I don't feel so good. Ugh. Holy sh Oh my god. Demonetization, bro. That sun is low. It's been a long day. 
We're catching our first Mars sunset. Yeah, baby. Wow. Let's go. Let's go. It's going down. Hey. Hey. I love you. I love you too, bro. Uh, We've only been on Mars for like eight hours so far. Oh, Is there anything you're excited for? Honestly, I'm pretty excited to get out of this suit. Agreed. Let's go inside. Uh, uh, yeah. These suits make everything in life probably two or three times harder. Yeah, it's like marriage. Obviously, we have oxygen inside the base, so we can take our suits off in here. I know some of my friends aren't. Can confirm what he just said, but maybe it's true. Maybe. Marriage. They make everything in life probably two or three times harder. Yeah, it's like marriage. Obviously, we have oxygen inside the base, so we can take our suits off in here. I know some of my friends aren't so fortunate. All right, once we make this airtight, we can take the helmets off. Oh my god. Man. Take this fucking thing off. Man, astronaut suits for 12 hours in like 100 degrees. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> you alright? Yeah. How does that feel? It feels crazy. That was the worst 12 hours of my life. I did just get our next mission on here, which is find food. All right. <laughs> I have been waiting for this one. I'm so hungry. Okay, so we're in the kitchen right now where the basis of all food is water. What right? about ketchup? What about ketchup? Yeah, our bodies are 70% ketchup. No, what? <laughs> Mars is known for not having any water, which makes humans living here pretty difficult. But this is all solved by a little thing called hydrosis. Oh, how'd you do that? You like the little word? Yeah, can I have one? Yeah, try. Ketchup. <laughs> oh no, oh no. So this machine right here looks pretty scientific. Basically it takes in the hydrogen and the oxygen out of the air, combines them, and then literally makes water. So after humans have been on Mars for a while, we'll all have machines like this where we just basically create our own water. Why are we supposed to believe you? Because I'm a YouTuber. There's some freaking water in us. 12 hours. Bro, man just turned into a water bender. Just Dehydration. Mmm. Mac, 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 Mac. This is all the water we have. I understand that. Oh, Mac, Mac. For dinner tonight, we have a five course meal starting with Beyond Meatball Marinara, Herb and Cheese Ravioli. Oh my god. Mexican Stir Fry, Garlic Shrimp Bro, I had breakfast. Yeah, I had breakfast like a while ago. And at the time we're recording this, I had breakfast and now I'm hungry. Tempura. If you don't know, Beans is my childhood friend. And for course number five, I have a little present for you. It's our childhood favorite. It's gotta be ketchup. Strawberry ice cream. Oh, man. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Fun fact, I've tried ice cream through the space. It tasted like crackers. Because it's dried. Yeah. This is the best day of my life. <laughs> I gotta find out what a crank. I wanna have some fun real quick. I'm gonna oh shoot that guy from far away. Okay, okay we're back. Not that. Very energy bar tastes like Tyler. What the f is that? It looks like bacon. I had a slight hit of dog food. All right, I'm bringing my ice cream with me. Oh. How does he know what dog food tastes like? How does he know what dog food tastes like, bro? They had a great time today on Mars. This is not so bad. Right now, SpaceX's plan is to have people on Mars by the year 2029. That is not that far away. So our goal with this video is to simulate what Mars will be like so that you out there can decide whether or not Mars would be a good move for you. Mm, it's a good move for me. We are only 12 hours in, so you've got plenty of time to make your decision. I'm going it's only a good move because you're on year 100. If you're on day one, no, it's not a good move. I'm going to sleep. Sleeping beds. You think Eric's sleeping on a pad tonight? About a three foot thick mattress, maybe. <laughs> it's not even soft. Tyler, I'll see you in the morning. I'll see you in the morning, man. With everyone exhausted resting after their first day on Mars, we didn't realize the challenges had only just begun. Welcome back to Mars. So I'm very rested and ready for the next mission. I don't know about the Sam, though. Sam. Hey, man. Hey, Tyler. Welcome back, Welcome back to another day on Mars. Once we were in the shelter, we refilled our oxygen, and now we're running out again. Mac, it's very, very hot right now. Well, Tyler, it says the next mission here is to entertain ourselves. Entertain yourself. Yeah! I like this one. I can do that. Little did Beans know the entertainment would be coming to us. 
I thought we were the only ones here. <laughs> Who do you think that is? I have no idea. <laughs> they have like a TV and everything else for entertainment, but they hire someone to entertain them. I mean, I know one thing to do. Not watch my video. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Who are you? Your voice <laughs> <laughs> So is my neighbor back at Earth, and I figured that part of establishing the colony of Mars is bringing up the next generation of Martians. Yeah, but we don't know anything. How are we supposed to teach him? No, we know some stuff. Your whole life, you think you're the little guy, but today you have to be the big man, okay? Oh! So we're in the middle of finding ways to entertain ourselves right now, so are you down to try to do some fun stuff? Let's go! <laughs> yeah! I love this guy. I'm gonna move for waffles. Woo! Try me, bro. Cheers. Mars, <laughs> maybe. Ah, to Mars. I am so hot. I am just dying right now. What was the mission again? We're supposed to be entertaining ourselves. I think we're actually just killing ourselves. Uh. All right, boys, I've got something very exciting to show you. They say there's no water on Mars, right? Yeah. But after 100 years... Hey. Hey. What? What is this? When we populate Mars, we're going to bring plants here, use hydrosis to actually build an atmosphere, which means that we get water, but we also get... What? Oxygen. Okay, yeah. So, um, if you can't tell, this isn't on Mars, actually. Don't think like me, I'm stupid. They're actually doing some desert. <sighs> Why did you say this as soon as we got here? I have lost 10 pounds in sweat. You guys want to jump in the pool? I mean, yeah. Yeah! All right, so yeah. Come on! <laughs> what? <laughs> There's literally nobody cheering for you. <laughs> well, fellas, I kind of love Mars. Great place. <laughs> <laughs> we were hammering rocks with sticks so they could be hammering sticks with rocks. You know what I mean? That was the worst quote I've ever heard. I promise you the comments are going to be flooding with how much that quote changed their lives. No one comment that. So we're watching Ad Estrada, the movie where our rover was used to watch our boy Brad Pitt actually drive it. Okay, I have an idea, guys. We go recreate this right now. Mars is kind of pretty, though, isn't it? Yeah, it looks pretty nice. This is what I call a space hammer. Why do you call it that, Tyler? Because I found it in space. Man, I love this thing. Beans, like, I'm gonna keep it 100. Like, get out of here. What? Get out! Why'd you do that? He was not matching the vibe. Now that it's just you and me, I wanted to tell you I have a little gift for you. Really? What is it? Yeah, here, hang on. This custom... Oh my god! Airac mission to Mars. That's Damn. This dude got the best neighbor. Uh... I hope my neighbors are not on my YouTube channel. It's sure. beautiful! I literally made this just for you. This might be the oh coolest God. shirt I ever had. The design is actually sick. Can you let me back in? We're in the middle of something, bro. We're just gonna uh, take off here. So I actually designed that shirt and the website I'm selling it on on Shopify. Oh, Cash raise of Shopify is- Man, look like you're playing football or hockey with the equipment, bro. You can start a business anywhere. And I literally started a business on Mars. So if you're looking to make a little extra more cash, Shopify's your thing on Mars. Besides, you got to keep driving. From your phone. I mean, Shopify's so great. Grab some to try shit. And the final mission is establish communication. We may not have any oxygen left, but there is someone who does. Elon Musk. Not quite. Eric Decker. This is Eric. Starlink. Starlink is one of the most efficient satellites in the world. It's also the most important item from the emergency crate because it is the only way they will complete their final mission. For the satellite to work properly, it needs to be placed on the highest point in a geographical mile. We are not in the highest point in a geographical mile. I'm no weatherman, Tyler, but that over there looks like the tallest point within a square mile. I would agree with you, but I don't know what a weatherman has to do with tallest points. Exactly. Probably... I, was gonna, I was about to say. Like, what, what What? does that have to do with geography, man? You're a weatherman. We're hiking right now. I'm down, baby. All right, come on, let's go. I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Peace. Day two on Mars, complete. Genuinely had one of the best days hanging out with these guys. I'm excited to sleep and go back tomorrow. Good night. Things were not looking good for the boys. It turns out carrying a satellite would be a lot harder than they thought. Come on, Mac. Boys. This might take all night. Okay, 
know what? I'm just going to stop the recording. And then replay it again. The ads are very... Hold on. Alright, I am back. And the ad is finished, so let's... <laughs> Eventually, reality began to set in. I think we need to stop for a sec. We're getting really exhausted. Good old space nap. Hopefully, we can finish this before we run out of oxygen. I am absolutely wiped. I cannot imagine what it's like for Mac and Tyler right now. I feel guilty, but maybe they're having fun. I don't know. Sun is rising. Holy. With the last bit of oxygen remaining, the boys had two options. Get to the top of this mountain and make contact with me, or fail the simulation. Oh, yeah. Come on, Tyler! Oh, Let's go, buddy! Keep going! We've got another 25 yards. Oh, Mac, we're actually right down here. You ready to set up a Starlink satellite? Yeah, yeah. If it's a satellite, then you should just be dropping it like that. This is the satellite right here. It's on the tallest point. It's being powered via pack right here. And if we look on the Wi-Fi right here, you'll see that we are connected to a- Bro. Man literally attached an iPhone 6 to his- Startling satellite. Call Eric Decker. Eric! Boys, I've been waiting for this call. Sam and I felt horrible that you guys were out there. We are 20 minutes away from running out of air. You guys want me to come pick you up? That'd be, that'd be awesome. I'm more than happy to come help. The coordinates are 772 degrees north, 24 degrees west. Okay, all right, we're coming. I'm honestly relieved okay. that they called. I've been so worried about them. So we're gonna suit up and jump in the rover like right now. All right, here you go, boys. Okay, bro, you did not seem worried at all, man. Coordinates say they're like right here somewhere. Oh, those boys do not look good. Oh, come on, we gotta go, we gotta go. We How are we doing? Oh my god. Are you okay? Oh my gosh. Are you okay? I'm not okay. Who, who is that? Aleko. He's our neighbor. Oh, what? Our neighbor's here? <laughs> I'm actually kind of happy to see you. I want to kill you way less than I thought I would. <laughs> In the end, we both completed our Mars simulations to a T. And even though the boys had it a little harder than we did, I appreciate how seriously you guys took this. We were out there, bro. We need water so bad. At the end of the day, it's up to you to decide whether or not you try living on Mars. Comment below and let me know. I'm actually curious. I'll press that button right there. Yeah! <laughs> That's the end of the video. I'm not gonna play the outro because it might get copyrighted. I don't know. But yeah, that is Arax. I I survived NASA's Mars simulation. The video will be in the description if you guys want to watch it. Uh, bye.